so hello everyone and welcome to this new chapter on um, learning C sharp so basically we'll be moving forward right in this chapter and we'll start on with commands and we'll also see how to um, write variables so in C sharp unlike many other programming languages especially like um, JavaScript and also unlike PHP C sharp uses data types while declaring um, declaring variables so when we try to declare a variable there comes the point when we need to initialize it so we'll be discussing more about that in the later section of this chapter but first we'll be moving towards learning what a comment is so we created this file in our previous videos uh, in our previous lessons perhaps and uh, we learned how to use this class how to print a single line of um, single line of text on our uh, command prompt in Windows. Now, w when we talk about commands, commands are of three types basically in C sharp programming. So, when we talk about commands, we need to learn about what a single line command is, what a multi line command is, and there is another sort of command which you won't find in uh, many other programming languages that is known as the document or documentation type command. It looks more of like um, a, like an XML file and um, it it also generates an XML format of uh, XML type of documentation so you can actually create an XML file which is also known as the extensible markup language I think that is the name or is it uh, extend extended markup language so you can actually create an X XML file out of your comments because there are times when you need to explain certain things through your documentation in an easier manner to your uh, uh, customers or your client your clients may not be non-programmers they might be programmers too so it com there comes a point when you need to use documentation vivid documentations to explain our codes now the first thing that we'll be looking at is how to declare uh, or how to use a command inside our script so in this script that we created earlier in the earlier uh, lesson uh, which we named as the message cl class 1.cs we will be using first we'll be using um, a single line comment so what a single line comment is you first start off a single line comment with double forward slash so when you use a, s uh, a single line comment when you use this two forward slashes and you write anything like uh, I can write alter and as I'm the author of this uh, piece of script then I can create uh, I can create a comment and I can name it as author so you can write actually you can actually pass in anything inside this inside this uh, command section now this command is only single line but after you go there your compiler starts to uh, in, in infer that it's going to be code your compiler only understand that this uh, line which is which starts or begins with two forward slashes is going to be a command so a single line command as this name suggests is uh, is only included in a single line and you can actually add single line of command anywhere in your script you can even add a single line of command beside your uh, system.console.writeLine method so we'll be talking about the method method in other chapters but let's uh, d tell the let's uh, create a command so that we can understand what this uh, is doing we can actually uh, create a command that tells us literally in english what are we doing in here so we are printing a sentence in our command prompt so when a compiler faces this commands or this section of commands it does not compile that part of code it ignores that part so it keeps that part of code and it ignores it but it 
stays inside our script and it's only used for human beings uh, I, which means that we can literally write anything inside this single line of command now there's another form of command that we know as the multi-line command and it starts with a forward slash and an asterisk or the star symbol this asterisk when you use this forward slash and asterisk it's going to create these lines now this thing will end with one asterisk and a forward slash so when your compiler faces this kind of multiline commands it's going to infer that your entire code or your entire uh, script should not be compiled it's a literal script or it's just for your own purpose it's it, it does not need to be compiled into a program now we we have seen in our earlier video that when we compile our compile our dot cs or c sharp script it gives us an executable file so this executable library file then goes on and run in our windows now when it faces this multiline commands if i remove this forward slash you see that the color changes the entire thing is being referred or inferred by the compiler as being uh, uh, as being inside this multiline command now if I add that forward slash at the end it's going to infer that this is the starting of the uh, multiline command and this is the ending of the multiline command now you can add any number of things or any number of strings inside this so it's better to use multiline commands uh, at the top of your scripts so it you can actually uh, declare uh, or you can actually y add your name inside your multiline commands then you can tell uh, you can write the file name in realistic situations uh, people usually use or programmers usually use multiline commands to describe what the script does beside adding their uh, adding the programmers name and adding which uh, when it was created they also add dates so you can also add certain type of date formats or you can even go for a description what your script does so it just prints a single sentence now there's another form of comment that we'll be looking at and that's called the documentation type